today we're going to be checking out the 16,000 square foot record store Goliath that is Josie Records in Dallas, Texas. Stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back. Sorry it's been ages since my last video, but as many of you know, I moved to Texas and moving is a big pain in the rear. So thank y'all so much for your patience. I really appreciate it. Now, since I was in Dallas visiting relatives, I had the opportunity to stop by Josie Records, which had been on my list for a while, and today I'm gonna show y'all what I found there. But real quick, today's song of the day is Planet Caravan by Black Sabbath excellent chill out track. Thanks for the recommendation. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. All right, now enough talk, let's head inside. So when you first walk in, on the left you get the checkout counter where, of course, you pay for your records. And then after that, if you take a look around, you really get a feel for just how large this place actually is. It's got a very open floor plan. Essentially the whole thing is like one large room with endless crates of music. So they've got everything from CDs to 12 inch vinyl albums, 45 singles, 78 records, movies, books, graphic novels, and t-shirts. And they even have several dedicated listening stations where you can preview vinyl records before you buy them. Pretty incredible. So if you do go to visit them, you're definitely gonna wanna spend at least a few hours kind of checking everything out and taking it all in. And they even have a waiting area in case your friends get bored watching you dig through all of those crates. So I thought that was kind of nice. And next to that waiting area, they also had this Beatles promo set up where people could take pictures for their Instagram and stuff like that. So that was also a nice touch. Now to the right of that were the five listening stations. Each one had a headphone holder, a crate for your vinyl, and also a little warning telling you not to open sealed records. You know, just in case you forgot. So uh, to state the obvious here, we should all know by now that listening stations are for used vinyl only. Now moving on to the turntable, it's an LP120 with a really cool slip mat featuring the Josie Records logo on it, which looks pretty cool. And then below that, we have the preamp and the headphone amplifier. So overall, I liked how these listening stations were set up and how they're kind of spaced out, so I didn't feel crowded. On a normal day, you could probably sit there with a stack of records in that crate and just listen to them one at a time and not feel rushed. So that's pretty nice. Next up, I made my way to the CD area where they had a ton of crates full of CDs in different categories. First up was the jazz section where you can find stuff like Ella Fitzgerald. Here's a few of her albums right here. Some stuff with Duke Ellington, some compilation albums, a little bit of everything. And then if we move over here, we've got some Stan Getz Finest Hour, the Jazz Collection Stan Getz, Getz for Lovers, I think I saw that one on Amazon, but I haven't heard it yet. So if you like jazz music, you're bound to find something good in these crates. I mean, I've just given you a very tiny sample of the stuff you'll find here, but as I said earlier, you really wanna spend a few hours in here at least to dig through and find some good stuff. Also, another good tip would be to bring a list of the albums you're looking for. That way you can find exactly what you want and not get distracted by all the other good music. Ooh, Breezin. This one's really good. I love this album. Now, moving on to the vinyl section, as you can see, they have endless crates of records as well. They have a ton of used records, new records, 33 albums, 45 singles, and even a large selection of 78 shellac records, which we'll get to in a second. But basically everything's organized into genres, so we'll start off with the soul and R&B section, where we've got some Ray Charles albums kind of hanging out right here in the crate. And the soul section alone is quite large, so if you're a fan, you're definitely gonna find some gems hiding in those crates. Now, another thing I thought was kind of interesting was that at the very end of those crates, they also had this tinsel Christmas tree 
decorated with a ton of red and green 45 records, which were supposed to be like the ornaments. So I thought this display was very festive, very unique, and kind of funny. I hope they didn't put any good records on that thing because uh, they're gonna get scratched. Also, this video was recorded before Christmas. That's why I'm showing you a tree in January. Now, moving on to the 45 singles, they have a ton of those as well, which is good because there are many people out there that have large 45 collections as well. So it's nice that they get some love too. And because of their massive selection, you could basically be here all day looking at just the 45s. So this is why I keep repeating the fact that if you come here, you definitely wanna spend some time looking at everything. And below those crates, you'll find even more boxes of 45s. So basically, this shop is a crate digger's paradise. They have a ton of everything. Now, in the new vinyl section, they also had a lot of albums from artists like Ryan Adams, Adele, Alt-J, Arcade Fire, Arctic Monkeys. Uh, okay, well, I guess this is just all the A's, but you get the point. They don't just have used records, they also have a lot of new stuff as well. And while I was digging in that section, I did come across this Sade album called The Best of Sade, which I think is the only album I don't have of hers. But it was 35 bucks, which I felt was a little steep, so I decided to put it back, but it was tempting. I guess that's kind of just like the collector's mindset, you know what I mean? Like even if you don't need it, you still kind of want it. All right, now as promised, here are the 78 RPM shellac records. And as we all know, these are the older type records that they made prior to vinyl coming out in the 1950s. And unlike vinyl records, which are flexible and durable, these are hard and brittle. So if you drop them, they shatter into a million pieces. So you gotta be real careful when you handle them. Also, you do need a special stylus to play these. So keep that in mind. Now, although some of the 78s were in paper sleeves, as they should be, most were not. So if you are gonna pick up one of these older records, definitely check it for scratches before you buy it. Now, in addition to all of the music, they also have graphic novels, movies, and shelves upon shelves upon shelves of books. This place is basically a Barnes & Noble, with the exception of the coffee shop. They've got tons of stuff on psychology, religion, science, history, sports, sociology, a little bit of everything. And it's also just as well organized as the records. So if you love books, this is also a cool place to check out. Now, as far as vinyl accessories go, they also have you covered there. They stock turntables, speakers, speaker wire, RCA cables, headphones, and pretty much everything else you need to get your vinyl setup up and running, which is pretty cool. And as far as random items in the store, I also spotted a small section of VHS tapes, recordable media like DVD plus Rs and minus Rs, eight tracks, which is pretty neat, and even some seven inch blank reel to reel tape, which I've never seen for sale at a record shop before. So that's pretty interesting. They also had a large selection of merch as well, including coffee mugs and a bunch of t-shirts. I really liked this one in particular because it's a t-shirt of a dude at Josie's Records looking at t-shirts in their t-shirt section. It's very meta, so I thought that was funny. Also, speaking of merch, I just designed two new vinyl shirts that you can pick up on the store tab on our channel. So let me know which design out of the two y'all like better. And also links down below. But anyways, back to the video. So overall, Josie Records in Dallas, Texas was a very cool record shop. And as I've said like a bajillion times throughout this video, I could see myself spending hours and hours at this place digging through those crates and finding some good stuff. Also, as a side note, because the shop was so huge, it never felt crowded or claustrophobic, which was nice. It's a very peaceful, chill place to crate dig, especially if you go there on a normal 
normal day and not like a special event or something like that. So I really like this shop. They had plenty of parking outside and I would definitely recommend it to any music lover who lives in Dallas or just happens to be traveling through that area. You're gonna love it. Now, what cool record shops have you been to lately? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love vinyl records, but still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smack that red button in the middle of the screen and hit the bell notifications so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, keep spinning that vinyl.